today I am going to be making some oxtails. So, I have gotten them cut um, at the store, like a little bit smaller than the normal um, oxtail is. Sometimes you get them and they're thick, but this is the... See, even this, I had them cut it into, because I like my oxtail small and... I'm just going to go through this, rinse it off, and cut whatever is too thick, like this one, separate it, and then I will show you how I season it. So first thing you have to do is wash it properly. Now I have it in a colander so the water is just running out. So I take each piece individually and I wash it thoroughly. And I place it in another pan after I finish washing it. I'm pretty much here just washing off the extra bone that might be on it from cutting. So then I'm going to put some vinegar in the pan with some water and rinse it again one more time. Not going to rinse it for long. But I'm going to rinse it again one more time. So I'm going to pour some vinegar on it. This is cold water now, so... This is my second wash. And I'm going to put them in the colander again and drain them. <clears throat> Oops, Daisy. I'll make sure they will rinse. I'm gonna want no vinegar. Smell from the ox here. So I have dried it with um, paper towel because I like when my meat is nice and dry and no water is in the bottom of the pan and I have to be draining it all the time, you know. So. I'm going to start seasoning this now. Now on my oxtails, I am going to add tomato, onion, garlic, thyme, scallion pepper and some pimento seeds. Also some cucumber and teriyaki sauce. This is the gluten free one. And um, some Grace Caribbean traditions, ginger, garlic, pimento. Now all of these I'm going to add to my oxtail, season it, and leave it to marinate. Notice I don't have any salt. I usually add my salt later on. I have no measurements for these. I just pretty much freestyle depending on how much meat I'm making. And I rub it in. Now 
So I have finished seasoning up my oxtails and I'm going to let it sit and marinate. So um, half an hour, 45 minutes. Four and five minutes since my oxtail is marinating, I was making rice and peas, so had time to let it sit. So now I'm gonna separate majority of the fresh seasoning that is on it. And I'm gonna saute it with some oil. Let me speed this up. I am halfway done separating the oxtail, so I have a half a cup of corn oil and I am heating a Dutch pot. Why does it look so... Yeah, I'm gonna heat some oil in it. I'm not gonna use all the oil. And I'm gonna saute the oxtail. Now that my oil is hot, I'm going to pour all this oxtail in here. And saute away. I burn my water by the salad in a Jamaican style. <laughs> the aim is to give it a little color and then you add water to it and boil and steam and boil and steam until it's tender That show you what it looks like when it's brown and ready for the water. So this is what the oxtail looks like after it's been fried, stirred, fried. Um, I am now going to add some water in it. See? I like when them, all of them look nice and brown like that. Uh, some of them are not as brown, but I'm going to go ahead now and add some water in it so that it can get tender. So let me add my water now. I use hot water. I don't measure the water because it's going to be in there for a while. Okay, I have um, browned and stirred and I usually um, like my oxtail much darker, but I don't use browning. So I made sure that I um, fried out most of the oil and I mean fried off all of this and then I've added some water to it. Gonna cover it so that it can get tender. Add maybe a little more water to it. I usually use boiling water. I'm gonna cover it. Just allow it to cook. 20 minutes later, my oxtail is still boiling up. I'm making a fool of itself. Yep. <laughs> It's still boiling up. It's still not tender. Um, I am going to go ahead soon and add some more water to it. And I am going to keep adding water to this until it's tender. Now, I am tempted to put my oxtail in the pressure cooker. 
because I've been in the kitchen way too long. Now, it is still not tender. So I am going to go ahead and put it in the pressure cooker for about 30 minutes. And um, that should actually do it with some more water. So I have placed it in the pressure cooker and I've added some water to cover it. I'm going to do this for about 30 minutes. So after my 30 minutes in the pressure cooker, my oxtail is tender. As you can see, see, it's nice and tender now. So I don't like cooking in this pot. It's too big. I'm going to put it back in my um my dutch pot and add my seasonings okay i'm gonna add the lima beans but i'm gonna i like to drain it off make sure it's all the preservatives is gone and i am going to add my seasoning that i removed and allow it to cook right now Taste it also to see if I need to add salt. Now for my seasoning is cooked, that's when I'm gonna add my beans. So I didn't add any extra water. This is from the the pressure cooker and everything. So let it simmer down. My seasoning is cooked because since the oxtail already cooked, everything's supposed to be good. I like when I cook my food and the meat just slides directly off the bone, just like that, you know. So, time to simmer. So I opened the can and I am going to drain it, drain this water off, right? I'm going to need that too much preservative and I, and I like to give it a little rinse. Seasoning should be cooked. So I can now add my beans. So I didn't use no browning in my oxtail. I um, the only thing that I used was the key command, um, and I. Try to fry them up, you know, a little bit so that they would get some color. And I'm gonna stir it in until it's combined. Then I'm gonna turn it down and let it simmer. I put spinners in my oxtail sometime or carrot, but not today. This is my oxtail upon completion. That's what my oxtail looks like. And I paired it up today with some rice and peas. That's what I'm having for dinner. Oxtail and rice and peas. Yep, this is my dinner today. Some rice and peas on oxtail. Mm-hmm. You see them pepper they want to sip on it? 
me go eat every single piece because me love pepper yes especially hot pepper with a side of some pineapple juice with ginger that i made it's homemade pineapple ginger drink i can't wait to chow down yep slave all day so it's time to enjoy